Hello Aries, welcome to your year 2022 review. I do have it marked up in sections here, but please keep in mind, you know, they could all tie in together or all happen at this in one month or if within a course of three months. It's just, it's really different for everybody, okay? Um, I just have these set as guidelines, kind of. Okay. Okay, they want me to start with your angel card for 2022. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Oh, goodness. All right, and then these other two cards. Empathy, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. And loneliness, I know that I am never alone. So just know your spirit team, your past on loved ones, you are never truly alone, okay? And your higher self as well is what I'm being guided to tell you. But also about the caution, look deeper into a situation and be open to seeing both sides of a situation, okay? You, Aries, you could have lots of things come towards you that could be triggering for you. Keep in mind, trying to protect your energy and clear your energy at the end of the day. Because also, not everything that you feel is yours. And a lot of things are going to be amplified for you in 2022. You will have work to do. Lots of work to do. Um, number four here. And she's out reading a book or researching under her little mushroom house. So getting grounded and being in nature is very essential to us Aries in 2022. Okay. Okay. I'm being guided to get one of these cards. So let me go ahead and shuffle on camera so those for who are new to my videos can see how we get their messages. So what do we have? Oh, well, it just fell right out. Passion. Resurrecting a childhood dream. Let your passion take flight. So you could be studying towards something in um, something that you dreamt of doing when you were little. Or younger and this isn't just necessarily like when you're like five or six this could be anything you know maybe you had aspirations to become something when you were in high school let's go ahead and nope okay you're like no you're gonna get these as we go on through the months okay 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 sorry <clears throat> the answers you need are coming you will find answers in the work that you're doing too as you're doing stuff um, you'll have those epiphanies and those aha moments. Answers to your questions will be revealed to you. We have widower and reunion. So with widower, I feel like there's something that's coming to an end. Not necessarily somebody dying, but there's like a cycle or a thinking pattern that's going to be stopped and I'm hearing now you see me now you don't so and and then the reunion card there could be somebody from your past coming towards you reuniting you could be reuniting with a loved one or a friend you had had a falling out with previously as well and then we have little luxuries, generates luxurious experiences and surroundings. So in doing the hard, your hard work is definitely going to pay off. Okay. And with the ending, the widow or with something ending, it's ending because there's something better. I was drawn to pull from that deck because if I'm being honest here, this card flipped over and I saw it and I was like, whoa, let's get some clarity on that because widower, that's kind of a scary word, right? But it's essentially something that's ending. And it's because there's something better. It could rock your world a little bit. Because also I knocked some tarot cards over a while ago. And the tower. 
the tower had fallen into the floor and death and rebirth. So the rebirth, the ending, and new beginnings, right? There's the infinity symbol. And whatever is going to happen, it's going to happen very quickly, this ending. But it's not... See all the butterflies on the card? Ooh, okay. Michael, can you just channel one thing at a time and help me keep up with it, please? And thank you. The energy is strong around us right now, guys. But you see the butterfly? So this is something better. It's a rejuvenation. Oh, man, you guys. It, it's going to be okay, though. Don't have any fear about the future, okay? The summertime is going to be of significance to you, and maybe you're wanting to travel and take a trip. We have the bridge here, so crossing over into another timeline, a new dimension. Yes, I said dimension. An alter reality. And you've heard of the Mandela effect, right? And if you haven't, or if you've heard of it and kind of has an idea, you might want to look into that. But <clears throat> it's going to be small things that you notice. And I myself have noticed in the past few weeks, like, like a building that was for sure not there the day before, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden it's there and it looks like it's been there for years. Noticing different perspectives, animals we've got the wolf here and i'm being guided to show you i have a wolf calendar behind me as well so animal spirit guide wolf is definitely going to be with you and there's a message in from the animal spirit guides over here uh panda create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or place of work and we do have work the work card over here so um Also, if you work like in a cubicle or an office somewhere, you might want to bring some crystals in with the intention that it will help clear your space. Um, unless you're in a, in, a, in a company or a building that would allow you to burn incense or sage. But clearing your space, also decluttering and organizing, maybe getting rid of old paperwork. Ancestral spirit guides are offering guidance now. Pay close attention to signs and omens from them. So they could send you um, a dove or a wolf or an owl in messages. Frivolity. And there's another butterfly. Actually, it looks very close to the butterflies that were on this card. Where the hell did that card go? It looks very similar to those butterflies, doesn't it? But anyways, maybe you're seeing butterflies. Uh, being careful in how you spend. Budgeting better. Oh, yeah. And how you spend, definitely. We've got breaking bad habits, self-acceptance, excellent mental health, and letting go of vices. So maybe you're just really used to, and I'm, I'm guilty of this. This message is definitely for me, definitely resonating for me. That, you know, if we have the money in the account, it just burns a hole in our pocket. And, like, say, for instance, I see an oracle deck or a new divination tool. And I'm like, well, I've got the money for that. And it's just like an impulse. You know, add to cart and buy now. Whatever. I don't know about you, Aries, but I'm being taught to budget better and be mindful of spending. If it's something I don't, if it's not an absolute necessity and I don't need it, then I should think twice about purchasing it. Like, I definitely don't need any more oracle cards right now or divination tools. I have all the resources I need right now. So, yeah, exactly. Not being frivolous. And then we have the spring card. So that's funny because summer, spring. So obviously spring comes before summer, right? So, okay, we're getting this card. Healing, true healing of the mind, body, and soul. By springtime of 2022, you are going to see and feel a significant difference in mental and emotional and even physical you might go we've got breaking bad habits so there's something about your health maybe that you're going to be breaking on we have a room 
making room for something new. Making room for something new. Uh, remodeling a room. Also, I noticed there's like a little sugar canister here. So taking time to stop and maybe have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Really enjoying things. Looking out the windows. Being more in the present moment, Aries. <clears throat> Finding inspiration. And her solar plexus is lit up like a mofo. Following that divine guidance and ins of inspiration. All right, what deck did you want me to pull from? I, I feel like I need to pull from another deck, but... Okay. Messages from Spirit. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So we've got Soul Solitude and see how the window is in her soul. And Did I mention something about like looking out the window? I don't know. I was thinking of it. I might not have said it, but your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. 11.33 on the timer. And exactly. And this says true healing of the mind, body, and soul. I'm really loving that for you. And then, oh yeah. So I'm not going to read the meanings here. But I'll hold them up for you in case you would like to read the meanings. But self-love and being proud of ourselves. Wow. I love that. I'd love that for us, Aries. Okay, and then on the bottom of the deck, yeah, getting into nature. And there's that butterfly again. Ow, there's a table there. <laughs> Just whacked the shit out of my hand. Oh, all right. Can we focus back in, please? Okay, I'll probably have to hit that again here in a minute. So... Oh, also, remember how I said, like, this month could happen here, and this timeline could happen here, and we've got summer and spring, and they're kind of backwards, so that, I think that's also validation from Spirit was about what I was saying on that. All right, there's quite a few cards in this section. Change. 2022 is the year you ch were changing. For some of you who are already on this ascension path and this awakening and healing path, you changed a lot of things in 2021 and in 2022 it's going to anchor in it's going to be noticed as well not just by you but by others because other people aren't going to be getting the reaction from you that they would essentially have expected from you a few years before that noticing your talents Could be a change in your talents also an upgrade a new spiritual gift or becoming aware of a new gift opening a new gift let's see what these two cards are we've got doctor and sweetheart for some of you maybe your doctor maybe your sweetheart needs to see a doctor um I got a clarity card on that one also. Man, I did, I'm sorry guys. I just don't know why. Let me brighten this up some. That might help. But let's put this down. Maybe you're wanting to become uh, a, a nurse or a nurse's aide, a registered nurse, an LPN, or even a doctor. Maybe your sweetheart is going towards those sort of goals. Maybe they already are. But, okay, so for some of you who... <laughs> kind of jumped at the widower and the doctor and the sweetheart there is no need to worry okay so don't think about those worst case scenarios because there's not one the need to see a doctor and also the breaking the bad habits so you might seek out guidance or counseling about something um 
overall mental health and letting go of vices. So some may be wanting to seek a counselor. What's this one? The elements. The elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries. Spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. True ascension is what's coming to mind, Aries, for 2022. My goodness. And I mentioned earlier about setting boundaries and protecting, or protecting your energy at least. And knowing what works for you and getting that routine down. Let's see what these cards. Something will happen that will change the entire atmosphere for the best. Oh my goodness. And remember earlier how I said it will happen quickly, but it's for the best. There's something better. Look at that. All right. What's the other cards? Be very careful in what you tell others. So being careful about... Okay, about showing or letting people know what you're working on or what you plan on working on or what you're striving towards. Trouble will arise, but will turn out not as bad as you expected. So, we were just having this discussion, <coughs> excuse me, the other day, yesterday actually, a member of my household is like, every time I hear my name or I hear... Um, hey, I need to talk to you later or we need to talk. She automatically assumes the worst. Like, she thinks that she's in big, big trouble over something. And then after they tell her what they wanted to talk to her about or ask her the question, it's like a huge sigh of relief, relief and it's never as bad as she expects it to be. So... Those of you who see the doctor and the widower, and I was talking about an ending to something and something better, like, it's not as bad. That's like your second or third validation. No need to worry. It's not as bad as you expected. And then something will change for the best, right? You are too good for your own good. I love that. You're too good for your own good. Have you ever heard that saying before? Where did the last six minutes go? I looked at the timer a while ago and it was 11.33 and now it's 17 minutes in. Goodness. Surrendering to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in your relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. And we've got the sweetheart card over here. And that card is talking about protective boundaries as well. Spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. And then we have surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into exciting new world of possibilities. And we have surrender the habit of people pleasing. And also remember this card is saying remember that no is a complete sentence. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. And, <clears throat> excuse me again, <clears throat> surrender defensiveness. This is what I've been working on the past few months myself. As I look over, I have to pause it. <laughs> the time is 1.23. And today is actually January 3rd of 2022. The message is timeless, even though it says the year 2022. But also, like, I've, I had been working on this the past few months in 2021. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To stay communicate, to communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive result. It's talking about hearing somebody out. And it says, I am open to bo seeing both sides of the situation. And caution is warranted. Look deeper into this pr situation before proceeding further. And now that I'm looking back at that card... Um, it's saying, don't just assume and don't anticipate worst case scenarios. Don't assume 
worst case scenarios and don't assume that you know what that person was meaning or thinking or feeling at the time okay we all have different perspectives and but we do have a lot of us have a hard time on voicing our truth and communicating those inner thoughts feelings and actions okay three more cards achievement there's that butterfly again mm. lots of transformation in 2022 aries all for the better and then we have silence and rest and I'm, I'm seeing the cat here and it says animals animals may be drawn to you to your sweetheart oh wow um pay attention to them though because they're trying to give you they could be very annoying you know my dog tank he's very he's an attention whore and he's very pushy when you pet him and then you try to stop he about knocks your ass over trying to get you to keep petting him so they're just trying to give you their unconditional love and so maybe just taking that moment and entering into that heart chakra and accepting their love that they're trying to give you okay achievement chase your dreams you may be surprised where they lead you so if you've got a dream about like your dream job or the medical field or the career field that you're wanting to go into take off towards that it's a great year for it rest your mind silence is good self-care and i feel like there was another self-card care self-care no this is what i'm looking at over here self-love is here too caring for your body self-love and self-acceptance are the ultimate acts of self-care so yes nurturing yourself oh i think i said that over here i don't remember guys okay so quieting the mind regularly and revelation ocean coral reef I've never noticed that, but the cor there's coral reef in the sky above her. Listen to your life. The right path will reveal itself. And you will be slowly making your way towards your life purpose. Having revelations on what you came back to earth to do. Following that soul path. Oop, I ran over it. But we have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others teaching you you inspire young people to learn and everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous music will help you help clear your energetic field as well so aries is that all we have for aries for 2022 last final message if you really think small your world will be small if you think big your world would be big. So keeping those big bright ideas. Reaching for the stars. Not settling for less. Attending self-care, self-love. Full-on emotional, mental, and physical help and healing. Breaking bad habits. Having complete self-acceptance. <laughs> Loving the little luxuries. And that kind of ties into this room card over here, too. Really appreciating the potential things, the little things we took for granted before. Right, Aries? I hope this helps. I hope it resonates, loves. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Until next time, dears, love and light.